Hello, hello, hello. I am here to teach you how to make a strawberry banana protein smoothie. This smoothie is gonna be full of protein, gonna give you that kick for after you're done working out, and it's very delicious. If you do not like either bananas or strawberries, you can either, you can fluctuate them out together. You can either have two bananas and take out the strawberries or you can double the strawberries with the alongside with the peanut butter so it can go either way or you can just do all three like i do which is pretty much my favorite um, pretty much my favorite smoothie also never mind me kneeling down because i do not have any eye level uh counters or anything so i have to kneel down because i'm so tall i'm six six so that's why i'm kneeling down it might look kind of weird but sorry I'm gonna start off with natural creamy peanut butter from Kroger. Um, this is pretty healthy. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. As you may see, there's roasted peanut butter and salt. Next, I have a banana, some frozen strawberries. And to come over on this side, what I'm going to use is organic protein powder. Pretty much all the ingredients are organic in that. I'm going to use some organic chia seeds just to add a little funk in there. Some organic cassava. It's a organic sweetener, fructose free. Almond milk. And some non-dairy yogurt. First what you want to do is add your liquid base. By adding the liquid base first, um, you want to make sure that your smoothie is being blended well and you don't want like all kinds of chunks in there so by adding the liquid first you will have a pretty smooth uh, smoothie. So I'm going to add about half a cup of almond milk and next we're going to add the non-dairy non yogurt and that's roughly about half a cup. Next, I'm going to add the frozen strawberries. That should be roughly around one cup. Just like that. I'm gonna add one banana, one whole banana. Make sure it's not too small uh, because you will not have a lot of banana flavor. And me personally, I like to have the banana as the main flavor to say. You want to add about four tablespoons of peanut butter. This is two tablespoons right here. So I'm gonna add two of those to make it four tablespoons. There's two. Next I'm going to add the organic protein powder. Now for this I'm gonna add one scoop because for every two scoops that is 20 grams of protein and since I have peanut butter and yogurt there is already protein in there so I don't want to overload the protein so I'm gonna add one scoop which is equal to 10 grams of protein next I'm gonna add some chia seeds I'm just gonna add in there just to get that Get that funk in there, like I said earlier. And last but not least, cassava. I don't even know if I'm saying that correct, but it's cassava today. I'm gonna add about three or four seconds of squirting right there. All right, now it's time to blend. I'm gonna blend that up together.
And there we have it. Just as I was saying before, this smoothie is really great for either during or post workouts. Um, I did the math. I did the I did the algebra. I did the math. I did not. Nah, I really did like pre-K math, but uh, um, I added all the I added all the protein from the food labels, and it totaled out to be around 32 grams of protein. Really, just a, a rough estimate. I'm not really sure how much is in there, but it has a good amount of protein in it. It'll, it'll, it'll work out for a post-workout smoothie. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Um, like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you tried it or if you have any opinions of what I could have did differently. But enjoy. Mm -hmm.